Geneva Motor Show is one of the oldest motor shows in the world. And what better way to experience it than to head down to Geneva and check out all that it had to offer. Now, we have to say that the response this year was a bit muted, but the excitement to see the new cars wasn't. And there were quite a few of them. So here are the highlights from the 2024 Geneva Motor Show. And let's begin with a car that we have been eagerly waiting for to come to our market. So it's the third generation of the Dacia Duster, the one that we get or used to get as the Renault Duster. Yes, other markets still get it as a Renault and so feast your eyes, that is what that car is going to look like when it arrives in India. Of course, with a Renault badge, not with that. But what's nice about it in a way, I think for me, is the fact that when you take one look at it, you straight away know that this is the Duster. It's got that sort of quirky Duster stance. It's got the interesting design details that give it a sort of a boxy look and uh, again nice use of different materials and then there is the little silhouette back here on the C pillar which again indicates that it's the duster but modern elements like the use of LEDs at the back maybe we'll get to see a little bit more of a high-end treatment more premium treatment on the car that comes to us what's interesting is that this particular platform will also hive off a few other versions for other markets including Latin America and India the big stir which is supposed to be the three row version of this and then there's a coupe version which we may not get. Dacia also had a spring in its step. But we've seen this one somewhere, right? Does this look familiar? Well, it should look familiar to you because this is basically the Renault Quid that we get in India. But the facelift version, it could look a lot like this. Now again, this one's badged. Dacia, so not the same brand, so, but imagine this kind of slim LED treatment just with that Renault badge in the middle over there. The reason I'm talking about that is because the spring is actually marketed in Europe as an electric car. Now, this is the facelift of the spring. This is a car that's been around for about three, three and a half years already. So really, the idea is not yet to move to a new generation. We've been talking a lot about getting the electric quid in India. I don't know when that's going to happen, but at least with the facelift, you kind of see a few little elements that you could pick up on over here. And once again, the whole SUV treatment with the cladding and all the different elements you see, well, that's pretty much something that's been maintained. However, at the back is where things get nice and bold with the taillight and with that element. Now, Dacia is Renault's sister brand. And of course, the French car maker had something to offer too. Something big yet small. It's a big debut from Renault here at Geneva. One of the legacy car makers, the only one, that showed up with something really impressive. This is a small car, but it's pure electric. It's uh, in many ways the car that you could say is a modern day Twingo or maybe even a Clio, but it really replaces the Zoe in the market. And look at the design cues. You're seeing some new stuff for the first time. It's not just the new styling language or really clever use of DRLs, but look at that. I mean, look at that. It's all inlit and looks really funky. You can do all that on a hood because it's not really a hood. There's no engine in there, is there? Wow. Is this really a Renault? I mean, the graphics, the colors, the seat layout, very nice, very different. Maybe trend setting. The electric game was on point at the Geneva Motor Show. And quirky clearly is the new sexy. Now that's a pretty sexy looking two-tone alloy wheel, isn't it? And it's a brand that you probably don't recognize. Heck, even I've never seen that before. It is from SAIC, it is IM, and it's a premium electric brand that sits in the same portfolio as MG. Why is it here in Geneva? Well, 2020 is when SAIC launched IM in China. The idea is to take on car makers like Tesla and uh, of course BYD as well. So, a little bit more high-end, a little bit more luxurious, that's what they're going for. And 
here in Geneva, you have the world debut of this car. You want to come around to the front, you can see the styling and the overall look of the car is very much in keeping with its stable mates. So this is the six and you've got some of the others like the seven also here on the stand. So we saw the French brand, the Chinese one, and now it's time to take a look at an American brand. And if it's American, the luxury quotient is heightened. Yep, this is comfortable. Now, Land Rover had something called the tailgate event suite. You move back and you'll see where I'm sitting. How about a, well, let's call it a hood event suite. This is the brand new model from Lucid, making its European debut here at the Geneva Motor Show. Now, the part that I find most interesting, not just the styling or the fact that it's an SUV, it's the fact that it has its own platform. It doesn't share a platform with that car because you have the air in its uh, Sapphire and other variants also showing here in Geneva. But uh, yeah, it's a nice ample sized car. It's uh, also a three row SUV. Take a look at the styling, the design. It is pretty good looking. And finally, there were the big announcements on the World Car Awards front. The top three finalists for all the categories were announced. Though there were not many players, there were quite a few European debuts. And yes, electrics clearly are the future.